Now, typically in this fashion of video, you would see my face. There is nothing that I am happy about at this current moment in time. If you guys are fans of Jujutsu Kaisen, right now we're going to be ranking Jujutsu Kaisen characters from the manga based on how much I like them from S all the way down to F. Uh, not that many, but we are going to talk about it as we get into it. Now, things have happened in Jujutsu Kaisen. Links, leaks rather, have happened in Jujutsu Kaisen. The most recent chapter, and I am at a loss. I am in pain. I'm wearing a shirt with Gojo on it. If you don't want to be spoiled, don't don't continue watching this video. Why why would these Okay, let me let me let me set the stage. I'm chilling, I'm hanging out with my girlfriend, right? Cool, we're on the phone. I scroll, we're about to go to sleep. I scroll, I see these leaks broke me on a TikTok. I'm curious, right? But never curious enough to have those leaks happen. So, what I decide to do, I skip a little bit. I want some sort of hint, but I don't want to know what happens. And do you know what I see? Do you know what I see? The lower half of Gojo on my screen. Just the lower half. Where's his upper half? I don't know. What? A lot of people are saying, oh, no, like he's coming back. He said bye. I ended up seeing the entirety of the leaks because at that point, I already knew what happened, right? So people are saying, oh, no, he said bye. Like he's going to come back. And it's just flashbacks to when Gojo said, you know, you didn't, you know, chop my head off with that thing. So against Toji, right? Um, I'm not okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to harshly rank all Jujutsu Kaisen characters that are currently on this list. I'm going to tell you whether I like them, how much I like them, why I like them. Now, um, I feel like he's a B-tier character. Is it Yaga? Yama? I don't remember. He's cool. He created Panda. Aside from that, not really anything. Gojo? See, okay, listen, listen. Gojo's an s rank character in my head, but if he's actually gone, he's an a rank character. How are you going to look at me say, I'm the strongest, I'm going to win, and die? That is not what we're doing. Kusakabe, Kusakabe doesn't have anything to him, but he's a B, B tier character. Um, Ijichi, I feel like he's a C tier character. He, C tier character. He's there, but he doesn't really do anything. A lot of people are saying that Shoko might heal, heal Gojo, so we're hoping that that does happen. Um, this individual, she's kind of there. She's funny. Eh, she's funny. Um, Itadori, Itadori, I feel like is, a, is an s rank character. In terms of writing, I actually really like how Itadori has been going. The fact that he lost Sukuna and now he's at a loss for what he should do. Um, to a degree, he still wants to help everybody else, but it, it's a little bit difficult. Megami, I feel like Megami is an a rank character for me. Um, Chimera Shower, Shadow Garden, excuse me, is really cool. However, I don't know. Um, Right now, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan considering Sukuna's in Megami's body. Um, Nobara, Nobara's an A tier character. I want to say A tier character. A lot of people also said, "Oh no, Nobara's coming back. Where, where's she been at? Oh, she's gonna fight Sukuna. She's gone. Everybody needs to accept it." Maki is an S tier character, especially after Awakening. There is nothing. There, there's no way to say she's not. Inumaki, I also think is an A tier character. I really like his power. Um, unfortunate that he can't normally talk, but you know, it, it is it is kind of a schmood. I might just start talking like Inumaki. Would you guys subscribe to the content if you know I was like salmon roll, you know, potato biscuit? If I was just saying shit, would you would that you guys would fuck with me, right? Um, Panda, Panda's a B tier character in my opinion. I really like the three cores, um, but aside from that, he did have that one moment with Principal Yaga. Um, you know what? Yeah, Panda, Panda can stay in B. Yuta's an A. S tier character for sure. Um, I feel like Yuta, another one of those people that you know might save Gojo because he needs saving. The strongest needs saving. You know how crazy that is to say. Um, Hakari, easy S tier character. I really enjoy Hakari's power system. I really enjoyed his fight against Kashi Kashimo. Kashimo, yeah, Kashimo. Um, incredible. Yes. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this individual's name. Kirare, Kirara. I, I don't know. Um, they're cool. They're all right. They're with Hakari. They haven't shown enough for me to really like them. Nanami is an A-tier character. Um, unfortunate, <laughs> but he is an A-tier character. He is cool. Um, I really like his the way he beat up on... What's his name? This guy? Haruta? Aside from that, Nanami, he had his moments. He had his moments. Um, this guy, I'm going to have to put him in F-tier. Haiba? Haibara? He didn't do anything but die, right? He just... <laughs> Like, he literally, he didn't do anything but that. Ghetto, I feel like Ghetto is a B-tier character. I like Ghetto, 
All right, not more than Gojo, obviously. I do like Ghetto, however, when it comes to Ghetto, I don't like the path that he chose. I understand that Hybara did die and that put him down that path, but something about calling people monkeys does not rock with me. Now that I think about it, let's let's go ahead and put you C. Something about I don't need monkeys like you in my world is crazy to say. Kenjaku, I hate Kenjaku. I hate everything about Kenjaku. I hate the fact that Kenjaku is behind everything. I hate Kenjaku. I hate this old man too. No Shinobu, whatever your name is, I hate him. Uh, with with a passion. Utahime, I feel like is a pretty neutral character. Um, her little bit of backstory that she had with Mei Mei in uh, what was it? What is it called? Death's Womb? No, that's Death's Womb painting. Her little background that she had with Mei Mei in Hidden Inventory. Damn, I don't know why that took so long for me to get. I really enjoyed. Um, my I don't really care for my i really enjoy her bond with maki you know giving herself up to help maki awaken uh aside from that nothing really crazy um miwa is okay i kind of enjoy they're kind of a neutral character i think in my opinion but i do like their hair color i like their design simple domain really cool um their bond with mechamaru aside from that they're kind of all right mechamaru see mechamaru is kind of a he's lower on the list for me I really enjoyed Mechamaru. I didn't like the fact that he was, you know, allied with the curses. He did it so he can see his friends. Like, I understand that. But then he still thought, for whatever reason, that he would have some sort of chance against Ghetto and um, Mahito at the same time, which is kind of just a crazy thing to say, right? And even when all hope, like, failed, he still didn't try and, you know, run away. I don't know. I feel like they kind of let him down. The, he he kind of worked with the curses for absolutely nothing. Um, he, we got to see what he looked like without his rags. Cool. That's about it. I don't like this girl. Uh, I don't even remember their name. Nor am I going to try to read whatever that says. They're all right. They exist. And, and that's about it. <laughs> Toto, one of my favorite characters in the show by far. Um, Boogie Woogie is the funniest name for a power I think I've ever seen, but he hits it some crazy. Uh, who is, I remember who this guy is, but I don't remember, Com, it says something with a K, Komi, Komuri, Komu, whatever this guy's name is. I like his fight against Megumi when it did happen, they were both holding back. Um, Flowing Red Scale is really cool. Aside from that, he hasn't really done anything aside from, um, being in JJK Zero for the thousand year or the 100 Demons Parade, whatever it is. Um, all right, character. Nothing nothing for me to really say. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this game. Maki? Yaki? Yaku? Whatever this individual's name is. I can't read this. I can't read this. This person. I know who she is, but she's an S-rank. Her fight against Kenjaku, incredible. She should have won, if I'm being completely honest with you. I know it was for the story, but if it wasn't for the story, 1,000% she would have won. I like this guy's mask. Eno, I like his mask. Um, I don't really know if they show what his cursed energy is, what his cursed technique is. He's okay. He's cool. He's just kind of there. Meimei, I kind of like Meimei. I like the fact that she has her... She's all about the bag, you know. She has the crows that she can speak with. I don't really like Ui Ui um, with Meimei, if I'm being honest. Like, I get their, their relationship, but I don't really like it. Tengen is kind of just a neutral character. He looks kind of ugly. Um... I don't really care for him. He had his, I guess, moment, you know, with the barriers and Kenjaku and stuff. But aside from that, it's not really anything crazy. Don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Um, a lot of these characters, I'm realizing that I don't remember their name just off the top of my head. But he was cool. I really like his curse technique. Um, I really like his fight against Dagon in general. Ogi is your name i believe i like ogi's fire style pretty much um he has a sword it's on fire but then he just gets obliterated i really don't like how he talks to his children but you know cool jinichi i feel like is okay um it's an either a or b kind of character for me i just like his power system is mainly what it is i like buff characters that look like him um they just always i don't know i gravitate towards characters that look kind of like this leave me alone Naoya Zenin, I actually despise. I hate everything about this man. I know you're supposed to. Getting turned into a curse yourself and then still losing is ridiculous. But, you know, go crazy. Kashima actually sprang up 
in my, you know, likability tier list. Because I think that Kashimo, the fact that, you know, Gojo fell over, right? Kashimo was like, yo, I'm next. Easy. Let's go. Let's get it. That was cool. Um, I enjoy this guy, uh, but I don't, I don't know. Characters like this, they're kind of, <sighs> oof. No, you, you stay in C. You can't go below C because this is one of those characters that he was helpful um, in his own way. He is kind of funny. I kind of enjoy him, but aside from that, I, I can't give him too much stock. Hana, I don't really care for. The C is kind of the neutral, where it's don't I don't really care for. The F is the only characters that I could say, eh, don't really like. Uh, let me actually move you. You don't deserve this. <laughs> Hana, I feel kind of meh for. Uh, just because she has Angel, but that's about it. She did help release Gojo, but, you know, mm, it's pretty whatever. Uh, Reggie is cool for his receipts, but aside from that, Reggie's kind of mid, in my opinion. He's just kind of there. Um, I don't remember if this girl has a curse technique. I do remember that she's the one that took Megumi to Reggie. Um, I don't really like her. I don't like characters that, like, you know, give up somebody else randomly. Um, this guy could blow up pieces of himself, which I thought was actually super cool. I like that power system kind of crazy. Uro had a great fight, also a great curse technique. Um, so I am going to put them in, I will put them in B. Um, I don't like this guy's hair, but I do at the same time. He gives me Josuke vibes from JoJo's, but he, like, he did his hair wrong. He's all right, but I do like his fight against Uro and, uh, Yuta, so that was cool. I don't remember Charles. Is Charles the mangaka? I think Charles is the guy that wrote the manga. He fought against Hakari for a little bit, and he told him he was boring. <laughs> I kind of enjoyed that. Rico, Rico just fell over. Same thing with Rico's aid. I like they're cool. I get it. I understand that this is what put Ghetto down a certain path. But in my opinion, these characters I could have went without them, especially Kenjaku. Kenjaku's here just because I hate him. Speaking of hate, I hate Mahito, but he's written so well. I hate Mahi Mahito, but he's written so well. Hanami, I kind of just. Hanami's just kind of annoying. Hanami's a C. Um, Jugo, Jogo, I really enjoy too. I really enjoy Jogo because of their fight against Sukuna, but we'll get there when we get there. Dagon, I feel like of the cursed spirits, I like the most. I like, I don't know, something about, I'm scared of the water, right? I can't swim, but I really enjoy water-based powers. I really enjoy the fact that he was there to get his ass beat by Toji, but we're gonna get there when we get there. Sukuna, I hate Sukuna. <laughs> I hate Sukuna for what he's doing to me, but Sukuna himself is a good character. I legitimately believe that Sukuna was going to lose, but whatever. This is Rika. I'm pretty sure Rika, I just saw a video not that long ago, actually. Rika could have been the most deadly curse of all if there wasn't a time limit with Yuta, so on and so forth. I really enjoy Choso spiraled up like he sprinted up to the top. I really enjoy just his bond with Yuji. I enjoy how ready he was to fight Kenjaku and die for Yuji. I just enjoyed Choso's character in general. Who is this individual? Oh, okay, these are Choso's brothers. I dislike both of Choso's brothers. I like, I get that they're brothers, right? They're Itadori's brothers, they're all, they're all, you know, a family. But aside from that, they're just kind of, eh. This one's a little ugly, so you go there. This one's all right. His back is kind of, they're both a little ugly. I don't really like their character designs. Maybe yours a little more. I just dislike your character design. Toji, Toji is one of, if not my favorite character in the entire show, especially because he came back, especially because, you know, he had that little moment with Megami. He beat up Dagon. He was just going crazy. He got compared to Maki. Incredible. Who are you? One of you, you're the one with the phone. You're the other one. They're okay. I, you just got blown away by Gojo. I don't even know what you do, if I'm being honest. I hate Haruta as well. Um, he did get what he deserved when <laughs> Nanami beat his ass. Uh, I forgot your name. Sumiki is, oh, that's Megami's sister. Okay, so we're going to put Megami's actual sister down there. We're going to put in T. But the thing is, what happened with the manga with his sister why he turned into Sukuna is is kind of a lot. Uh, I forgot your Junpei getting turned into a transfigured human by Mahito is kind of a crazy way to go out, but that's fine. I actually really enjoy whatever this guy's name is. Again, not good with names because whoa, 
Jujutsu Kaisen has very difficult names, especially because with all of the manga and anime that I read, I'm never going to remember everybody. But I do know your curse technique has to do with Yuji, or your fight rather, had to do with Yuji, where you showed off your curse technique that has to do with, you know, a court. And then Yuji had that moment where it's like, no, like, even if it was Sugana, I killed them. I found that was really cool for Itadori's writing, and I found that this guy's just cool in general. He is kind of there. Um, of the characters here, the only ones that might switch would be, you know, Gojo, only going upwards, not downwards. Um, let's see. A lot of the people in C, maybe get. I can put Geto in B. Like, I understand where he came from. He had, you know, stuff to do, but eh, don't really like him. Kenjaku can stay here. Kenjaku can honestly... You're not even getting raided. Get out of there. Please! Alright, Kenjaku goes to the bottom of F. If you guys agree, let me know. I'm going through it. I'm I'm truly going through it. Those leaks were not nice.